Hello everyone, welcome to the reading. This reading will be for Gigi Hadid and Zayn Malik. This deck will be for Zayn, this deck will be for the both of them, and this will be for Gigi. So yeah, I'm gonna pick up their general energies. Let me see what's going on in his life currently. What's happening, what's going on, what needs to be shown. So he's definitely, definitely, excuse me, listening to his intuitive guidance. You know what I mean? Not just that, he's trying to leave drama behind. You know what I mean? He's trying to leave strife behind. You know what I mean? He's very intuitive at this moment as well, as what I'm picking up. Not just that, he's trying to control himself. You know what I mean? He came to the realization that he cannot control other people. You know what I mean? This is a very enlightened energy, is what I'm picking up. You know what I mean? It's kind of just like this guy is operating in a high vibration. This is very positive energies. So, very good. Let's see what this deck shows. He's focusing on himself, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like a lady on here, like posing and shit. But this is all about like uh, self-care, you know what I mean? This is also about like making yourself fit emotionally, spiritually. He's trying to make himself fit. He's focused on his life, on his shit. Let me get Gigi's energy. Let's see what's going on with her. What's happening in her life? Mm, money's not looking too good. I'm going to be real with you guys. Money is not looking too good. I'm getting a lack of opportunity. You know what I mean? I'm definitely getting a lack of opportunity. The fact that this is the Page of Pentacles is that money is on her mind. But if you look at this visual situation, this boy is in strife. He's in poverty. You know, I understand that her father is a rich dude and shit like that, you know. And I understand, like, you know, her mom has some money, I guess. But as far as her situation is concerned, it's not looking too good. I gotta call it as I get it. It's not looking too good. You know what I mean? It's like she has dedication, though. She's trying to establish some shit, shit. You know what I mean? So it's like they're both, like, mirroring each other. But it's a little bit different. Because it's showing me that this guy is kind of, like, in a zen moment. You know what I mean? Like, he's at peace with his shit. Like, yeah, he's working on his life. He's working on himself. But as far as her situation, her money's not right. It's causing concern for her. So it's kind of just like, you know, she's training. She's trying to get herself in the game. You know, she's trying to win. You know what I mean? This is interesting, right? Because if I'm correct, I believe that she's a model. And it's relevant. The reason why I bring it up is because it's kind of just like, I don't know. She has to almost like outshine people, but she's not doing it is what I'm picking up. So that's really deep. You know what I mean? It's kind of just like if you know anything about sports, you know, there's like, a ton of teams, a ton of players and shit. And it's kind of just like hard for individuals to always stand out. You know what I mean? Not everyone can be Kobe. <laughs> you know what I mean? It is the same. Like, it's the same shit like in a modeling world. You know what I mean? Like, not everyone can be like the top person, you know? So it's definitely affecting her resources is what I'm seeing. So very insightful energies. Very insightful. I'm curious. What's going on between them? You know what I mean? Because I don't know if they're together or not. But let's just see what comes up. So let me get his energies. What's going on between the both of them? What I'm picking up from like just shuffling, he wants to keep his distance. He definitely wants to keep his distance. Well, I tell you, you see the situation of trust? He's trying to move forward in his life. He is not trying to deal with her. He's not trying to deal with anyone, actually. Again, it's like him by himself him doing his own shit and it's all about progression you know what i mean again he's listening to his intuition not just that he's all about his creativity right now so i think if i'm right he makes music and shit like that so it's showing me that he's definitely caught up with his creativity he's definitely caught up with trying to establish some shit for himself again if you look at the cards for him it's just one person Either it's one person or it's nobody. So it's kind of just like, he's in a real good position is what I'm picking up. It's really deep, actually. This is like the star in this deck. So it's like, he's in a really good situation. I'm getting abundance. I'm getting a peace of mind. I'm getting clarity. So that's really shocking, actually. You know what I mean? Because nine, it has to do with wisdom. You know what I mean? Nine is the energies of Sagittarius. You know what I mean? 
It also correlates with um, Jupiter. You know what I mean? Jupiter is like higher wisdom. So he's definitely caught up with higher wisdom at this time in his life. It's like he doesn't have no time for no fuck shit. You know what I mean? This is very mature, elevated energies. So very, and look, the energies keep repeating itself. So this shit is crazy. What did I tell you? It's like he's focused on himself. Like, that's what I'm getting. Like, just picking it up intuitively without even having to see the cards. Like, his shit is all, like, peace and turning in. You see what I mean? He also feels uh, warmth in his life with this four. He feels at home, you know, because he's not listening to no gossip. He's not listening to his friends. He's not listening to his family. He's not dealing with, like, females and their drama. You know what I mean? I'm not saying that females are drama. I'm just saying, like, you know what I mean? Like, when you have flings and shit, he's not listening to his flings. Like, he's just doing him. So, yeah, and look, playfulness. This dude has nothing but good cards. Let me have a uh, glass of water. Excuse me for a second. Yeah, so this guy, he's just focused on himself. Like, he's doing really good. <laughs> so, very positive energies. Let's see what else is going on with this deck. Revenge. This is revenge. This is an energy of karma. You know, it's funny, right? Because I don't know anything of their situation. But it's kind of just like... This is kind of just like revenge for all the bullshit. You know, I don't know like what went on in their situation, but it's kind of just like karma. It's kind of just like when someone brings a lot of drama into your life, you know what I mean? And they try to like fuck you over and it's nothing but bad energy, bad blood and shit is shady. And then like, you know what I mean? You try to like switch up your life and shit and you start doing well. It's that sort of energy. It's kind of just like revenge, like for the haters and shit. It's kind of just like, fuck you, like... You guys try to bring nothing but drama in my life. I'm going to switch shit up. I'm getting this actually has to do with Gigi and this has to do with other people. So very deep energies. Let me see like what her energies are. Because <laughs> it's showing me that he's not even fucking with her at this time. And it's like revenge. Like he's doing well and she's not doing so well. You know what I mean? So hmm. that's kind of like shocking. The fact that these cards came out uh, sideways is showing me um, energies that are off. You know what I mean? Again, it has to do with her trying to perform. You know what I mean? Like her being a model, all of that shit. This is like the catwalk, being on stage. You know what I mean? The Queen of Wands is all about passion, being seen, being heard, getting your energies out there. You know what I mean? The Queens also has to do with contracts. It has to do with business. You know, yeah, people associate that with just the Queen of Pentacles. But all the queens, they're all about, like, working with people. You know what I mean? They're queens. You know what I mean? So it's kind of just like queens do things, like, behind the scenes. They're all about, like, nurturing, contracts, shit like that. But it's showing me it's not a good situation. Not just that. This black uh, cat caught my eye. So it's like an omen. You know what I mean? Not just that. It's an energy of being nervous. She's very nervous at this time. And it has to do with her whole modeling situation and her career and businesses. You know what I mean? And it has to do with this King of Wands. So this is interesting, right? Because this is very deep that these cards appear together, right? Because this is basically a couple. You know what I mean? She's busy worrying about what the fuck he's doing is what I'm picking up. She's like, yo, what is this guy doing? What's happening in his life? You know what I mean? But he's not bothered. Like, even if you look at this... um, King of Wands, he's happy. He's, like, living his best life and shit. Like, he's in his power. This lady, she looks nervous as you, if you look at her face. You know what I mean? Not just that the position she's taking is not a position of strength. You know, and I, the reason why I, like, point out the energies is so that people understand that, like, I'm not pulling shit out of my ass. Like, yeah, the cards actually speak for themselves. Sometimes even before I pull out the um, cards, like, before cards come out, like, I actually pick out the energies, like, yo, this is what's going on, you know? And then the cards, like, clarify it. But sometimes, like, people need more clarification. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? I try to be, like, upfront with my energies and my readings. And look, heartbreak. So, damn, this shit is so deep right now. Like, this shit is really heavy, because the Three of Swords, I don't know if I said the Three of Wands, excuse me, the Three of Swords, this shit is deep. 
all about heartbreak. And look, this guy, he's not fucking with this lady anymore. He's doing his own shit. So what's being shown to me is that she's not over the relationship. You know what I mean? It's showing me, I don't know like what they say of this couple, but they're not together. They're definitely not together. Not just that, but he doesn't have time for her. Not just that her money situation isn't doing good because her career is off. You know what I mean? She's just in a fucked up place. And it's funny because I'm getting an energy of karma. You know what I mean? Like, usually you would think that, like, the guy in the relationship usually tends to do all, like, the most horrible shit. And usually, like, the female, for the most part, people consider the female to be innocent. But what I'm picking up is some crazy shit. You know what I mean? I'm picking up some energies that she's actually the shady one in this situation. Now she's dealing with karma very deep energies let me see what this deck shows all right let's see what's going on yeah she feels like this guy is her soulmate that's why she's not at peace her energies are off you know what i mean because it's like she feels like this guy needs to be in her life for whatever reason. You know what I mean? I don't know what it is, but apparently she does love this guy and she does feel like um, this dude is her soulmate. But I mean, it's not looking too good for them. You know what I mean? Because he's caught up in his own shit. I mean, this is a quick general like uh, reading. I wasn't trying to like get into the energies all heavy. I mean, I might pay a visit and like look into the energies further but at this moment i'm gonna leave it here because i think like this is perfect this is like giving a giving us a perspective of like their situation but yeah that's what it is guys definitely tell me what you think you know i don't know anything of this couple so maybe you guys can enlighten me you know what i mean i don't google people before i do readings and shit that's not my style you know what i mean so yeah i don't know like the drama or the tea I just let the energy speak for itself and it's actually more fun to do it that way for me personally and it's more honest so yeah also if you guys would like to have a reading with me how to go about that will be in the description box if you would like me to cover a celebrity how to go about that will be in the description box peace and abundance to all also definitely press the thumbs up button thanks again take care